Cinematics have been a very important part of gaming history, usually as a way to convey storytelling and world building. And with the release of UPBGE 0.36, we now have a way to use scenes to load cinematics. And that's going to be the main focus of this video. To start, we'll add a new scene to the game, selecting the Copy Settings option to keep all the main game settings. Hit 7 on the numpad to go in the top down view, and add a new camera, then drag it up slightly. Then in the Lens tab of our camera properties, we'll go change from Perspective to Orthographic View. That way we don't have any issues with perspective. Then set the scale to 20 to zoom out a bit. Now we'll add a plane and scale it to fit within the camera view. Then jump over to the World Properties tab and change the color from black to white. This will keep the light even over the plane. Time to go to the Shading tab. In the Shading tab, give the plane a new material. Then to make it easy to find, give it a name. I just called mine Cutscene. Now if you have Node Wrangler enabled, click on the BSDF shader and press Ctrl T to add an Image Texture, Texture Coordinate node, and a Mapping node. If you don't have this add-on enabled, you can go into the User Preferences and add it there. Or just add them with Shift A. Now select the image texture and open the video you want to use as your cutscene. Set the scene frames to match the duration of your video and enable auto refresh as well as the Cecilic option. Now you should be able to scrub through your timeline and see your video playing in the camera view. Time for logic. We're going to use logic nodes to play our video and to switch scenes. Make a new logic node workspace and name it whatever fits your project. For the logic, I will go to nodes, materials, and then add a play sequence. To actuate this node, we'll add an on int node then just connect them together. In the material selection, type the name of your material and select it. And finally, select the image texture with your video. Make sure to check the frame rate of your video, then adjust the frame rate on the node to match. For the frames, just make this match the frame duration of the material node from earlier. Now we can add a set scene node. This is a new addition to UPBGE 0.36, and it'll make the process much easier. If you'd like to see how to add cinematics in 0.3, let me know in the comments below. Usually I would tie the set scene to the on finish of the sequence, but for whatever reason it doesn't work, so I'll be tying it to the music track instead. Also make sure to apply the logic to the plane to make it work. Now we can watch our cinematic in game. But we still have some work to do. <laughs> Let's get some music in here. Add a 2D sound node and connect it to the on int node. Then open the sound file. For myself I exported my video and my audio separately to combine with logic nodes later. Adjust the sound volume to whatever sounds good for you, then make sure to select your soundtrack. Press play and you can watch your cinematic with your beautiful music. To finish the logic loop, we will connect the set scene node to the on finish socket of the sound node. And now we can play our game and when the cinematic ends, the game starts right after. And we can run around. Look at me, I can roll. And with that, that's how you add cinematics to your game. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you would like to support my channel, I have a link to my shop where you can pick up some sweet mugs. And with all that said, I will see you in the next video.